What is going on, guys? MMA Island team, we got the fight picks. We got Bobby Green taking on Alon Patrick. Man, so the last time we saw Alon Patrick was against Scott Holtzman getting knocked out in the third round on the Khabib Nurmagomedov Conor McGregor card. So it has been a dang while since we have seen Alon Patrick. But it, you cannot say the same for Bobby Green because Bobby Green was fighting in November against a very, very close fight against Francisco Trinaldo. And then he was able he to piece won. away at Clay Guida in June. And then two months later, fights Lando Venata. Rematch. And does a very good job in there as well. And yeah, in the rematch, as you mentioned. So, man, this is... This this is this is a fight that I want to sit down and analyze for days. But man, it is close. This is a close, close fight. What do you value? This is I'm not passing on to Zach yet. I will go into it, but and, and I, I'm asking you guys, the viewer, what do you value in this one? Because you're looking at a guy who has only ever been finished via KO, hasn't fought in two years, um, fifteen and two, very very impressive record. Looking at Bobby Green, 26 and 10, not the craziest, like amazing, most amazing record in the world. And I think one thing you guys have to take into play here is that he hasn't had a, a TKO win in, since 2013. So can you really say that Bobby Green's going to go out there and finish Alan Patrick, uh, Lon Patrick? It's really tough to say because just looking at his finishing ability, how many fights is that? That's uh, 11 fights since his last finish win. Uh, he's had a, lot, a few losses. He's had five losses in that 11 span, one draw. But he looked, he's looked very, very good in his last three fights. A lot of people say he won the fight against Francisco Trinaldo. Uh, I can't remember who I scored it for watching it live. Bobby uh, he Green. Definitely, he definitely won. He should have uh, scored it for Bobby Green because that's exactly what should have happened. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, he definitely won against Clay Guida, and he definitely won against Lando Venata. He gets a step up here. He definitely gets a step up here. But that's not so much of a shot at Clay Guida or Lando Venata. Both of those guys are really good strikers, and especially in the case of uh, Lando Venata. Obviously, people remember the spinning wheel kick uh, knockout over uh, John, John McDessie. Um, but I, I was impressed by Bobby Green. I really, really was. His, I was also impressed by his post-fight interview. He was a motivational speaker there, and it was nice to see. Uh, and I'm sure Herb Dean probably enjoys refing him as well. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's tough to say. I think I'm going to have to lean towards Bobby Green in this one. I think just looking at the layoff, man, that's a long, long, long layoff uh, for MMA-wise, at least two years and then not fighting, especially going off of a KO loss. Mm -hmm. I can understand taking some time off after a KO loss, uh, <laughs> Anthony Smith, um, <laughs> but uh, you should definitely take off some time, take off about a year, but two years, it's, it's, it's tough, man. It's, it's tough to say. I think this fight is probably going to be one of the fights that go, one of the few fights, in my opinion, that goes the distance on this card, uh, just because both of these guys are able to, to to win by decision, primarily win by decision as well. Uh, he's Bobby Green. He's got nine decision wins. Alan, uh, Alan Patrick has nine decision wins as well. I do think Bobby Green is going to be able to get this one done. I think he gets it done via decision. Looking at Alan Patrick, man, he's. We say that he hasn't been fit. Finished uh, uh, via decision before, but he's on his way in the Scott Holtzman fight. So it, it's it, being 37 years old. I think with Bobby Green with this whole retirement thing, uh, I kind of I kind of thought he was older than he was when I first saw him come back against uh, Francisco Trinaldo. So I don't know, man. I got to go with Bobby Green. I've been really, really impressed from what I've seen from him in his last three fights. So I, I got to go with Bobby Green in this one. I just think he's going to be able to uh, uh, keep the volume going. Just be able to 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 ha like he's got he's got the better accuracy he's got the better defense and that's one thing I definitely wanted to mention is looking at the defense sixty three percent striking defense which is very very high for the amount of uh, uh fights that Bobby Green has had uh, he's got fifty percent accuracy that's seven percent higher than Alain Patrick and it's eighteen percent higher in striking defense than Alain Patrick. So uh, he's not, he, he's got the better volume. He's got the better accuracy. He's got the better striking defense. I just think he's going to be able to go out there and be able to strike with Alon Patrick. And, and, and when it comes to the takedowns, I really think that's Patrick's only hope. Uh, yeah. Looking at the takedown defense, 73% takedown defense for Bobby Green. Um, it, it's really, really tough to say. This is a very, very close fight. I'm sure Zach will agree with me. Um, but I got to go with Bobby Odds Green. Odds are crazy. 
Not the craziest amount of confidence, but I will go with Bobby Green on this one. Uh, and I will say he gets it done via decision. Pass it on to Zach. This was the toughest fight for me to call in the entire card. And I know the odds are really heavily skewed to Bobby Green, and I can understand that. But I'm not sure you can really put Bobby Green as such a big favorite. Now, Alon Patrick, coming back from such a long layoff, he's fun to watch. Like, his unorthodox and just weird striking is, is just kind of – it's fascinating a little bit, though he doesn't throw a lot of strikes. Everything he watches, everything he throws is compelling. It's just very, very odd. And yes, he has those takedowns. And I want to talk about Bobby Green right now because, man, has he looked impressive. I think this is the best version of Bobby Green that we have ever seen. In his last fight with Lando Venata, my goodness, I've never seen his boxing look so damn good. He was throwing with absolute volume. He was landing everything. And he looked so calm and composed, and he was just demolishing him out there. And I think that's speaking to how good his training camp is out there at Pinnacle MMA in Redlands, California. His great uh, training partners like Darian Caldwell, uh, although many people don't really like to watch Darian Caldwell fight. I think it's interesting. And uh, Jamal Emmers as well. He has those guys to train with, and man, those are great training partners. And... Yeah, man, Bobby Green has just looked really, really, really good. I don't think I've ever seen his striking better. And I think it's come at the right time, especially with someone like Patrick, who is kind of hittable and doesn't have the best striking defense. Like, that's the thing about Patrick. Yes, his strikes are very cool, and they land at a decent clip, but it's not going to matter when uh, Bobby Green is just hitting him with more and more and more stuff. He almost, he has more than double. He throws more than double the strikes than Alan Patrick does. And his strikes are a lot more effective. Like those, these boxing combinations we've started to see from Bobby Green, especially in that land of an auto fight. I, 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 we've never seen that from him before. He's just looks so, so, so good as of late. He's about to go on a, a three, five winning streak, even though it should be more because he beat Francisco Trinaldo. No one can tell me. Other. It was a robbery so bad that he retired off of it. He came back, obviously, because he came to his senses, but still. And the guy, okay, let's look at the guys that Patrick is losing to. He's lost to two guys in the UFC. He was undefeated coming in, and they are two of the absolute best unranked lightweights on planet Earth, and one of the most underrated fighters in Merbeck Tysimov. Absolute monster, that guy is, excuse me. And then Scott Holtzman. A guy right in that 20 to 30 range in lightweight. And the guys that he's beat, his best win, I would say, is Stevie Ray. And that fight wasn't exactly the most fun one to watch. So we, we know how Alain Patrick wins this fight. It's just going to be through a lay and pray type of style. I don't think he has the skills necessary to submit Bobby Green. I don't think he can finish Bobby Green. But Bobby Green can absolutely finish Alain Patrick. He's only lost by finishing the UFC. And that's what I think is going to happen. I think that uh, Bobby Green is going to finish him in the second round. I think the boxing volume is going to be a little bit too much. We see that he has power now with how many times he dropped Lando Venata. Yeah, Bobby Green, second round knockout. Press that, uh, press that prop bet. Wow. All right. So some, uh, some uh, pretty cl- – we, we, we started this off talking how close this fight was. And we ended up clear. <laughs> high confidence. Uh, so that's what happens when you look into it. And that's what happens when you watch the fight big videos. So make sure you guys are also checking out the other ones, liking the video, subscribing to the channel. And once again, check out the other fight big videos.